book one, chapter one of 1984, starts out in London, England, now called Airstrip One, and part of a wider community of nations called Oceania. It's a dystopia. 1984 is the future. Posters are everywhere captioned, Big Brother is watching you. And we meet our protagonist, Winston Smith, who works at the Ministry of Truth. His division is in charge of news, entertainment, education, and the fine arts. And there are three other divisions of the government. The Ministry of Peace, in charge of war. The Ministry of Love, in charge of law and order. And the Ministry of Plenty, in charge of the economy. We learn quickly that the government not only runs everything, but watches and manipulates it too. On his lunch break, Winston returns home to his apartment, Victory Mansions. The name of it is not really fitting. The electricity's off and out, the elevator doesn't work, everything smells of cabbage. London itself is pretty run down too. The main feature of Winston's apartment is a telescreen, a device like a TV, and it can be dimmed but never turned off, and it transmits both ways, so when you watch, it can watch you. As long as Winston is within its field of vision, everything he does is heard and every movement is seen. Winston moves to an alcove out of range of the telescreen to write in a diary, which we find out quickly is illegal. He writes of a monologue that's been running through his head here, April 4th, 1984. That morning, two people were going through a daily ritual called Two Minutes Hate. One was a dark-haired woman, and the other was O'Brien, a member of the inner party. That morning, it had been Emmanuel Goldstein as the target of the Two Minutes Hate. He's an early betrayer of the party, and Goldstein was shown on screen abusing this big brother figure. When the program ended, Winston had glanced at O'Brien. He thinks about this as he writes down, down with Big Brother. This is considered thought crime. He'll be vaporized for it. He puts down his pen as someone knocks at his door. At the onset of 1984, the description of Winston Smith's home and workplace reveal a new London society in 1984. The people are under the control of the party and there's absolutely no privacy or room for individuality. Winston's decision to write a diary is a dangerous act. The words that he writes are even more dangerous. His diary entries show where he stands regarding the party. Winston is a natural rebel in a conformist world, in a society where people are expected to swallow the lies the party feeds them. They're encouraged to fear enemies, real or imagined. Fear generates hatred and hatred keeps people under the party's control. Orwell links the two minutes hate with fear, and once fear manifests, it becomes a permanent state that controls everyone.